Okay, I've got Buffy out and she's come in for our two week in-house training. We always like to start with right around day one to get a little bit on tape, see what they know. Go to sit. <laughs> she kind of licks my treats and then she kind of nibbles on them a little bit and then she takes them. She's kind of silly. Hi. A little bit of jumping issue. We knew that kind of going in. So I think that's, you know, one of the biggest things I'm going to have problems with right off the bat is jumping. All right, let's see what you know. Can you walk? Good girl. Not terrible. Buffy, sit. Good. Comes around in front of me to sit. I'm going to have to work on that because that's why. They come around in front. That's a, an easy place for them to jump on me. And I don't want that. Sit. Good girl. <laughs> but she likes treats. Uh, she obviously likes going for a walk. That didn't seem to bother her too much. Um, she's just got a lot of jumping and a lot of energy. But that's just something we're not going to take out of a dog. We're going to have to control that. So <laughs> the more I talk, the worse it gets. Um, but I think everything is going to be fine. She's just young. Uh, and really needs to start getting those basics instilled in her. So we're going to put her up and we'll get her back out at the end of week one and see how she's doing then. Hey, I've got Buffy out and she's been here for a week. So I wanted to put a little bit on tape, show you where she's at. As long as I'm keeping my eyes on her, she's doing pretty good. You know, when I take my eyes off like that, she tends to make some mistakes. So, um, you know, at this point, she's not doing it on her own like willingly I mean she's doing it and I don't know that she knows 100% of what she's doing she's getting better every day and that's what consistency is about you know they've got to learn those those tricks and trades um, until they become automatic and we're not to that point yet definitely um, we normally get there in the middle of week two and I'm hoping that's the case with Buffy uh, at this at this point she's just you know keeping an eye on her and just making sure she's not being 100% puppy all the time and that everything is sinking in. All right, Miss Buff, let's show off what you learned in week one. You ready? Come on, let's go. No. Let's go for a little walk. Come on. Good girl. Good. Good. That was a good sit. I didn't even tell you. I, you were already there. That was excellent. Ready? Stay. Okay. Good. You can get up. No, that's, that's, no. Ready? Let's go. Buffy, sit. Why are you in front of me? Good. Let's go. Sit. Good sit. Stay. No. Okay, good girl. Good, come on, Buff. No. Hey, pay attention. Good. Good. Sit. Good. Let's go. girl no good come on she's done this from day one she tries to get behind me and rest control 
See how she's trying to get behind me and then she starts the jumping? It's just a little game she's been playing thinking she can get back the control that I haven't allowed her to do. Good. Good girl. Same thing with getting in front of me and shaking like she did on the first round. It's another way of her trying to gain control. Sit. Good. <laughs> Good girl. Now, she's not always the best at the get it come games. We've been working at it. Get it? Buffy, come. Sit. Good. You're too close. We're going to, uh, uh, nope. Get it? <laughs> sit. It's a doodle thing, I swear. Get it? Good. Buffy, come. Sit. Good. Get it. Buffy, come. Sit. No. Good. So I haven't gotten to play this a lot because normally my cookies just go down there and then I back up. Sit. Now she's starting to get the concept of go get it. Come. Sit. See? That time she didn't offer to go get the treat. She likes to be with you. Again, that's a doodle thing. They're loving and they want... They kind of focus in on their people. No. Sometimes to the point that it's a little bit much and we want them to go lay down or something like that. But we've been working on it. Sit. Good. So I've got to keep pretty good control over her at this point. I want her to get a little bit more free this next week to be a little bit easier to maybe show you the difference between what is expected and what is real and what she needs to do as far as doing it naturally and for you on her own so we're not to that point hopefully we'll get there i think we will she's doing good she did an automatic sit earlier that gives me a lot of hope that she really is this stuff is starting to sink in a little bit so we're going to put her up and we'll get her back out at the end of week two and see how she's doing then